say, fellas? What do you say? Let's go, Captain. Let's go, boys. Let's go, Blue. Yeah, Blue! When I think of Andover, I think of Dick Phelps. <laughs> I met him just recently when I was back on campus. Super friendly, uh, outgoing guy. He's just... willing to take the shirt off his back right then and there to make sure that I had everything I needed going through school. He's really nice and he's really friendly. He's just a guy who wants to give back, but he does it without fanfare. What he does is learns from us. He's a very astute student of Phillips Academy and, and the admission process. He was on campus a lot. He really does an incredible amount for the school. Getting the Phelps Scholarship was, uh, I mean, it was awesome. This, that we're talking about him, that he's so humble, this, this will, he'll be a little red. I, I know that. <laughs> Phillips, I played basketball, ran cross country, and crew. I went to the Naval Academy and played uh, both basketball and rowed on a Division I level here. So it was a big part of my, um, my life then. After uh, the Naval Academy, I continued in athletics. I tried out for the 2000 Olympic team and crew. Um, and then uh, that was cut short by an injury. And then I, I proceeded into the flight pipeline for the Navy. And I've been flying fighters for 15 years. Yeah, I mean, if there was an aid, I wasn't going to boarding school. That was end of the story. The prospect of, of going to Phillips um, in eighth grade uh, was intimidating. It certainly was. But that's exactly what I was looking for at that point in my life. I knew uh, academically I could, I could handle it, and I wanted the challenge, and I knew uh, athletically th that this is certainly a place where I wanted to be. If I didn't receive that Phelps scholarship, that there was no way we, I was going to be able to, or my family was going to be able to, to, to afford me to, to, to attend there. It was a true, um, unique set of uh, ideas around this concept of recruiting students who are also very good athletes, but the, but the emphasis on the fact that they were qualified for admission on the basis of their academic profile and happened to be very good, promising athletes. And the buzz about the whole thing was, oh, Andover's was gonna do this thing where we're just bringing in jocks. And that was never the case. Some of the misconception around this was, was created by families whose children earned the scholarships in the early days who were selected and, and came to Andover as Phelps Scholar athletes. In their local papers, they were advertising the fact that their son or daughter had been admitted to Phillips Academy on an athletic scholarship funded by Mr. Richard J. Phelps, class of 1946 at Phillips Academy. It, it was still kids that uh, were deserving academically, deserving financially, um, but they did have an athletic interest. The nice thing is it's not tied just to athletics. So if a kid comes in and he or she is a soccer player, and they decide to play something else or do something else or become an artist, that's okay. They don't lose anything. The other thing that Dick felt was very important was that we met 100% of the demonstrated need of the students who qualified for admission. And this then led to the pushback from all these other schools because it was not only the fact that we were recruiting scholar athletes, it was also the fact that we were slowly changing outside of the national model, our financial aid practices. This broke the mold at a time when we were thinking about the changes that needed to happen to make the Andover education more affordable. And it was that partnership with Dick that allowed us to venture into this territory in a way that was significant, not only for Andover, 
but for all other schools eventually, as it turned out. Society, there was this sort of downturn in like the importance of athletics and athletics was sort of separating from academia and I think through Dick's actions we kept we kept it together you have to strike a balance in everything really your academics always come first my dad has always said that uh, my coaches have always said that what we do at Andover is we allow time for kids to be athletes but we still stress their academics unfortunately in our culture right now they're asking kids to choose. You choose the arts, you choose academics, or you choose athletics. We firmly believe that the, you can be a Renaissance person. Dick is a true student athlete. He came here and he uh, had some conversations uh, with some folks, got a, uh, some scholarship money. He did two years at Andover. He did his upper and his senior year at Andover. A very good student, played uh, baseball, hockey, and football. He really fell in love with this place. We, we talk in athletics about guys uh, who bark uh, a lot but don't really have much bite. Dick's the other way around. Dick is the big dog, doesn't bark, doesn't have to bark. You know, he walks around, you wouldn't even notice him, but the way he carries himself, the way he is as a gentleman, uh, is very powerful. The key thing is that Dick, nor the coaches, pick these scholar athletes. They go through the admissions process and they do not even apply for the Phelps Scholar. You can't apply for it. It's awarded as you go through the admission process. Big folder came in the mailbox and we're driving down the driveway and I have it in my lap and it's all spread out and there's a whole lot of, a whole lot of paper. Uh, most of it I'm not entirely sure what, what the purpose is. When I got it I was really happy because, you know, it kind of was an assurance of like that I could go here um, because without it I don't really know what would have happened. That just was the best feeling in the world, um, knowing that, you know, the people that I'd interviewed with here and then Mr. Phelps who I'd never met um, had enough faith in me to, to give such a generous amount. I'm walking down the stairs after school and my dad's on the couch with a letter in his hand. He says, uh, Zach, um, it says Phillips, uh, Phillips Andover is going to let you go to school there. And I stopped dead on the stairs. I said, or dad, don't mess with me with this one, please. Don't. He's like, no, I'm telling you. They said, uh, you're going to get in, but we can't afford it. So I'm sorry, you're not going. <laughs> So, so he let me mull it over for literally 30 seconds. He said, just kidding. You have a scholarship and financial aid, and you're going to Phillips. I can't even begin to say what this has done for me. Um, the amount I've grown as a person, as an athlete, uh, even in the classroom in the last year and uh, half a term is incredible. Though. I'm very appreciative for it. I think that as I grow up, I'll be able to understand what it really means to me more. Um, and I want to make sure that he like truly, uh, Mr. Phelps truly understands like how grateful I am for all of this. The competitive edge that I have, that, I, that drives me, is something that was sort of realized and harnessed while I was at Andover. You know, you, you, when you're that young, you don't see the big picture, you don't look that far ahead, but you sort of realize what you're capable of. And that place allowed me to realize that anything I wanted to do was possible. That translates for me now on the field and in my professional life and f for football is, you know, I, I, I excelled at Andover. It was, a, it was a challenging four years, but I excelled so much that it, it helps me now. A lot of growing up happened at Andover, just kind of developing who you were and what you wanted to do and what you wanted your, what direction you wanted your life to go into. And 
um, you know, I, I kind of fully embrace a life of service. I, you know, um, I enjoy serving uh, in the Navy, and I've continued to do so because um, I think I had a vision of something bigger than myself. So I think Andover opened that up as far as um, doing things outside yourself or for others, or um, not being so um, provincial in your outlooks. And it really was—I uh, think that was kind of set me on the path of what I wanted to do with my life. Thank you.